What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be watching reacting to Top Gun from 1986. I actually don't know who directed this. I'm going to look that up real quick because I actually, I always, you know, want to see who the director is. I probably don't know who it is though, just because I feel like if I did, I would have heard of this before. But it is of course a Tom Cruise movie and I know there is a new one coming out really, really soon. Actually by the time this video releases, it might have already came out. So it's directed by Tony Scott. I've only seen the gray which i don't know if he directed that or if he just produced that he might have just produced that i don't know whatever haven't seen really any of these got any of this guy's movies so it's a very new thing for me i've just heard a lot about this movie throughout my life i've just never seen it i don't really not much else to say other than that i know again i know tom cruise is in it. i know there's a new one coming out so i thought it was a good time to watch it just so i can go see the new one and that's all i know and we're watching Mission Impossible franchise soon as well, so I thought it would make sense to watch this now. So let's just get right into it. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I've heard this movie has a good soundtrack. A lot of good 80s music, I'm assuming. Always love that shit, man. Looks like the Terminator font. <laughs> this is definitely going to be the most 80s movie ever, and I really hope it is. Oh, Val Kilmer's in this? Oh man, I love this music. This is my type of music right here. I'm assuming this is accurate to how they really do this. Maverick and Goose. I know that guy. Maverick and Goose. Well, I know the next one's called Maverick. Oh, so is Tom Cruise Maverick? Because the sequel's called Top Gun Maverick. Looks like he's a single. Uh, Cougar, I'm gonna go head to head with him. Take it easy, Maverick. I don't like this shit. Head to head. So were they all using real, like, jets to film this? It looks like it. I don't know. I'm sure Tom Cruise isn't actually flying anything, though. It's just, you know, his shots are separate. But I'm curious to see if all of these shots are actual jets. It, again, it looks like it. He's bugging out and going home. They just want to scare him away. I guess, yeah, they're not going to fire that quickly unless they're like being persistent with it. Cougar, he's got missile lock on us. Get away from this guy. Oh, shit. Oh, this shit. He's engaging me. He's got missile lock on me. Do I have permission to fire? Do not fire until fired upon. They don't want to fire first. That's risky, but I get it. He's just trying to piss us off. Maverick, get down here and get this asshole off me. Is he upside down? <laughs> what, what is he doing? Is he taking a picture? He must be a damn good pilot if he's doing all this. He's having fun with it. Bro, he's terrified. Damn, he's got a wife and kid. I don't feel like Cougar's gonna make it. Come on, Mav. We're getting low on gas. Let's land this sucker. Cougar! He wants to go back for him. I ain't never want to leave a soldier behind. Yeah, he's really not doing good. Maverick's doing a good job of helping him. Oh no. Dude, the music is so good, the way it's uh, tension building right now. No, he's gonna crash. You gotta keep that thing steady. He's gotta keep that thing steady. Nope. Oh, thank God. That could have been really bad. Honestly, understandable if you... Not everyone's made for this type of a thing, you know? I don't know. Holy shit, Tom Cruise is so young here. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, that's what happens when you go to an older movie, but... Shit. You just did an incredibly brave thing. And a stupid what one. What you should have done was land your plane. <laughs> you don't own that plane. You lost your qualifications as section leader three times. Put in hack twice by me. With a history of high speed. But he's the best one, it seems, right? And they have the option to come back here to be Top Gun instructors. You 
think your name's gonna be on that plaque? Yes, sir. That's pretty arrogant, considering the company you're in. I could tell he's supposed to be a really cocky, overly confident character. I like that in the pilot. It is a good trait to have as a pilot. Just not too much, though. Gentlemen, this school is about combat. There are no points for second place. He loves the competition. Plaque for the alternates is down in the ladies' room. Why do you gotta laugh like that? <laughs> no, it's a fake laugh. This is Pete Mitchell, Tom Kazansky. Congratulations on Top Gun. Thank you. Sorry to hear about Cougar. He and I were like brothers in flight school. He was a good man. Still is a good man. Yeah, that's what I meant. Why does Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer look like they had a kid together and that kid was young Johnny Depp? She's lost that love and feeling. She's like, no, she hasn't. Yes, she, she has. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Hey, hey, hey. Don't worry, I'll take care of this. There's no tenderness like before in your fingertips. <laughs> Wait, they all are in on this? <laughs> or they just, oh, they just know the song. Never mind. Listen, can I ask you a, a personal question? That depends. Are you a, a good pilot? I can hold my own. Then I won't have to worry about you making your living as a singer. Oh, don't follow her in there. <laughs> what do you want to do? Just drop right down on the tile and go for it? No, actually, I actually had this counter in mind. Your friend was magnificent. <laughs> oh, yours, Charlie. Thank you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> be dealing with this is where she was working? You were in a 4G. Inverted dive with the MiG-28? Yes, ma'am. At what range? No, about two meters. Well, it's actually about one and a <laughs> What were you doing there? <clears throat> Communicating. Communicating. You look great, honey. Thanks, dear. See you in pre-flight. Lieutenant, why didn't you tell me that you were a famous MiG insulter? Would it made any difference? Not in the ladies' room, no. <laughs> Oh man, I love this music. It's like the most 80s thing you'll ever hear. Okay, you're mine. Damn. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if this is with real jets, that's so impressive. Even if it's not, the fact that they can make it look so real, if it's not real, it's also impressive. Imagine if they accidentally had the missiles armed and let one go. That would not be good. No, ma'am, this is not a good idea. Sorry, Goose, but it's time to buzz the tower. Definitely not a good idea. <laughs> yep, exactly. You're everyone's problem. That's because every time you go up in the air, you're unsafe. I mean, that's kind of true. I am dangerous. At least he admits it. <laughs> you and Goose get your butts out of that flight gear and up to Viper's office now. Damn. Yeah, they do have a problem with following directions. <laughs> Clear with this old man. Tell me one thing. If you had to go into battle, would you want him with you? I wonder if that'll be his character arc, is to kind of become less over cocky the way he has been as the film goes on. I guess that flyby wasn't such a big hit, huh? Why did you think it would be? <laughs> Look, man, I know it's tough for you. They wouldn't let you in the academy because you're Duke Mitchell's kid. You have to live with that reputation. Was Duke Mitchell a piece of shit? I can see it's dangerous for you. But if the government trusts me, maybe you could. That's some really good logic there. It takes a lot more than just fancy flying. <laughs> Crash and burn, huh, Mav? Slider. You stink. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That might have been the best insult I've ever heard, and it was so simple. It was the delivery of it. That's that's what did it. Not gonna lie, Val Kilmer kind of looks like Ivan Draco in this movie. No, nah, he's got a date. I know this song's in this movie. I've heard this song a million times. It's been in, um, what's it called? One of my playlists. Did he not even shower? Did he just go straight there? I really hope he didn't just go straight there. Dude must smell like shit right now. You don't mind? I'm, I'm gonna just take a quick shower while you're. Oh, he's gonna take a shower here. <laughs> yeah, I do mind. My mother used to call down from her room and have me play this. Oh. So sick of it. I'm not her. She just sit up there alone, just listening. Hours. She died shortly after him. What happened to your father? Was it a... involving flying? I guess I kind of figured with your security clearance, you'd know more about him than I do. Well, I didn't get that far. He disappeared. In a really? Night, November fifth, nineteen sixty-five. Oh. Shit. The stink of it was, he screwed up. No way. My old man was a great fighter pilot. But who the hell knows, it's all classified. Somebody must know. Yeah, somebody knows everything. Somebody knows everything. That's a pretty interesting quote. I don't really think that's true, to be honest. I think there's some things that we literally have no idea. I'm sorry, I was late. You're apologizing for being late? I'd be apologizing for smelling like shit. And not showering before I came. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm gonna take a shower. <laughs> I'm really glad they 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 didn't just forget about the shower. The MIG has you in his gun sight. What were you thinking at this point? You don't have time to think up there. If you think, you're dead. I heard him say that in the trailer for the next one. I haven't watched the trailer, but I've heard it when I'm in the movie theater for for Doctor Strange 2. It was playing, and I heard it. I wasn't looking at the TV, though, so or the screen during it. But I did hear that quote. Next. Gutsiest move I ever saw, man. This song is played like three times. <laughs> it's a great song, though. Lieutenant! My review of your flight performance in the past was why is he such a piece of shit? I can't hear you. <laughs> Damn, he's going fast. Oh no, she's fall. Oh god, oh god, oh god. It's <laughs> for real. You're both pretty reckless. My review of your flight performance was right on. Is that right? Yeah, it was just her doing her job. I see some real genius in your flying, Maverick, but I can't say that in there. I was afraid that everyone in that tax trailer would see right through me. I know this movie was basically a romance. I feel like that's a good part of it. I feel the need. The need for speed. Ow! Does that come from this? Or is that a quote from something else from before this? I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> oh my god, man. He still hasn't learned. I mean, if it goes his way, maybe he'll be okay, but... Damn, this gets good. He is. Goose, check our tail. Shit, there's just a... Bingo, Maverick's dead. You're Damn. Didn't even work. He went against the plan and it didn't work. Yeah, that is completely fucked up his ego. That was some of the best flying I've seen yet. Right oh. the part where you got killed. <laughs> you never, never leave your wingman. At least he's, you know, praising him on his flying skills though. Honestly, this movie is not what I was expecting it to be. I, I, only thing that's kind of as expected is the music. I, I knew there was a lot of good music. And this song is played like four times now. <laughs> I need another 20 seconds, then I've got him. It's 
20 seconds, a lot of time. You know, in situations like this, every second counts. Come on, take the shot! Ten more seconds, then I've got him. Come on, Ice, get the hell out of there. Let's do it, Mav. Ice, come off high right. Come off high right, Ice. I'm in. I'm off. Shit! Oh, shit. Engine one is out. Engine two is out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mayday, mayday. I'm surprised he hasn't passed the hell out yet. Oh my god. Oh my god. There you go. Oh shit, wait. Oh wait, did they get out? Okay, they got out. Oh wait, no, Goose? Oh shit. Yeah, it looked like he hit something. Oh yeah, no, he hit yeah, he hit the He hit his head. Oh shit. It went by so quack uh so quack. What am I a fucking duck? It went by so quick. So it's hard to tell exactly what happened. How you doing? Alright. Ghost is dead. I know. Clyde Jet's long enough. Like this happens. Here's my real, my responsibility. You gotta let him go. I mean, he will. It just takes some time to to let that go. Can't expect him to be over him that quick. God, I'm running back. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. I'm glad we have some emotional beats in this movie too, because it, it was kind of chill for a bit. Like there wasn't anything. You know, that emotional happening. Oh, that this is, yeah, this is not gonna be easy. God, you love flying with your map. I'd have flown anyway. Without you. You hated it, but he would have done it. We find that the F 14 flat spin was induced by the disruption of airflow into the starboard engine. No. This wasn't his fault. Lieutenant Mitchell's record will be clear to this incident. Lieutenant Mitchell is restored to flight status without further delay. He doesn't know if he wants to continue, though. But he will. I'm sure he will. Or he wouldn't have a movie to watch. I feel like he's just going to get really damn good at his job now. Hey, where the hell are you going? Uh, it's not good. It, it doesn't look good. What do you mean it doesn't look good? It doesn't get to look any better than that. Damn. Maybe he's not getting better at his job. Hey, man, we could have had him. Hey, we could have had him, man. Oh, shit. I will fire when I am goddamn good and ready. <laughs> I'm sorry about Goose. Everybody liked him. He's really being careful with his words. When I first met you, you were larger than life. You're not gonna be happy. That's what a death does to someone, though. I flew with the old man. Be a 51, they risk any. Does he know what happened? Is that why you fly the way you do? Trying to prove something? Yeah, your old man did it right. What I'm about to tell you is classified. His F4 was hit. He was wounded, but he could have made it back. He stayed in it. Saved three planes before he bought it. How come I never heard that before? Well, that's not something the State Department tells dependents when the battle occurred over the wrong line. My options, sir. First, you've acquired enough points to show up tomorrow and graduate with your Top Gun class. Or you can quit. I mean, you're already there. That spin was hell. It would have shook me up. So you think I should quit? I didn't say that. Yeah, he didn't say that. He just said he would understand. Some of you have to depart immediately. We have a crisis situation. Oh, shit. A rescue operation is to begin within the hour. Your mission is to give air support to that rescue. If you witness a hostile act, you will return Oh, fire. damn. Are we actually going to see, like, a firefight in the air? You are America's best. Make us proud. Excuse me, sir. Yes. 
This is not personal, but with regard to Maverick, is he the best? I know it's on your mind, Kazansky. Just get on it. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's reasonable for him to even say it in the first place. To be honest, he he does put them at risk sometimes, you know. But he'll be all right, I think. Bullet, you got him? Not yet. I can't see him. They must be close. I'm getting a hard on. <laughs> Why do they gotta say it like that? Oh my god. Holy shit. When do you know when to eject? Like right when you hear a missile coming? Is that when you would eject? Or do they got flares? Like I don't know how that works. We might see it here. Oh, no. He was just took the hit. Okay, he did eject. Just floating out there with the parachute while there's... These things flying around shooting missiles, that would be a little sketch. Alright, now he's gotta go, because he knows people are in danger. What about Willard and Simpkin? Both catapults are broken. We can't launch any aircraft yet, sir. Oh, oh damn. Ten minutes. Well, shit, ten minutes. Yeah, y'all don't have ten minutes. <laughs> shit, that was close. Damn. Oh, the 80s music's kicking in. <laughs> I knew it! Shit! God damn it, Maverick! He's gonna- uh, it's the end of the movie. He has to succeed this time. It's as if it's the end of the damn movie, you know? Talk to me, Goose. What is- what is this, like a Luke Skywalker moment? Use the Force, Luke. Nice. It's just one of them. Nice. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, I don't think he's coming. I don't think he's coming back from that one. Oh no! Oh my god! Ice on the count of three. Break hard right. Three, two. Break hard right. You miss? I'm actually glad he's missing. You know, he can't be too damn good. The They're in the clouds now. Well, above the clouds. Oof. He dodged most of that. I'm bringing him in closer, Merlin. You gonna do what? <laughs> you see his reaction to that? Or here. <laughs> That's the maneuver they did in the beginning, right? It worked. Yep. That was really risky, though. Nice. What if those MiGs came back, though, later on? Guess they just send more people out. He's gonna say Most something nice. Dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> you can be my wingman anytime. It's nice to see him. I, I honestly thought he was gonna die there, Iceman. I thought he was dead. I thought of being an instructor, sir. Oh. Top gun. Is that what he's gonna be doing in the uh, sequel? God help. That makes sense. 40 years later, something like that. A little less than 40. Why did it take them so long to make a sequel? Unless there's another one that I just. Don't know about, but... I mean, they don't make sequels to everything. Some things just stay as a one thing, and they're fine with that. So I guess that's fair. Oh, she's gonna play Take My Breath Away, isn't she? Oh, no, different song. <laughs> I was getting ready to hear Take My Breath Away again. She was five years older than him in this. He was like 24, she was like... Almost in her 30s. She does look a little bit older than him, so. Because I've, I've always seen people set up, show pictures of the two of them and how they aged over time. And everyone's like, oh, Tom Cruise aged so much better. But to be fair, she is already older than him here by a good amount. But yeah, that was really good. That was, uh, um, 
not what I expected at all, but it was still really good regardless. I think the thing that I was most excited to see was the music, and the music was very, very good, as I expected. Um, but, like I said, I didn't know anything about the story, I didn't know anything about, like, what even happens in the movie. Is it, like, very emotional? Is it, you know, very goofy? Is it a comedy? Is it, you know, it kind of felt like a little bit of everything, though. It felt like it had its comedic moments, a lot of comedic moments. Had some romance in there, which I thought was a, the bulk of the, like, a large part of the first half of the film. And then the dramatic, more emotional stuff kind of came into the last half. Uh, especially with Goose's death, but really it had a little bit of everything, you know? I think I would have preferred if it leaned more into the emotional aspect of it and more into the character growth of Maverick, which it had some there, but not as much as I maybe was hoping. But it still had some there, and I really, really liked all of that, and I think I would have liked it more if it did lean more into that. I thought the romance stuff was fine, but they probably could have had more character growth even in between that, I didn't see as much as I was hoping. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. It's one of those types of things where, one of the things I really like about movies, assuming it's based on, or it's accurate to what it's portraying, because not all the time it is, sometimes it's not. This one felt like it probably was. I, I feel like this is the movie that everyone kind of talks about when they're talking about uh, flying movies and such. It has anything to do with... Um, this type of thing. I really do think that it's interesting to to see what it's like, you know, because I like I don't know anything about pilots and doing all that. So even just watching a movie that's kind of like showcasing little bits of it, it just gives you a general idea of what it might be like and general idea of some concepts about it. Again, it's a it's fiction, so it's not like it's you know exactly how it is in the real world. But I'm sure it gives you a general idea enough to maybe be interested to actually look it up yourself and look into, you know, research about how it actually is. And that's happened for a lot of movies. A lot of movies get me interested in things that I wasn't aware of before. And, you know, honestly, I might look into this a little bit because it's interesting. I like knowing new things, learning new things about stuff I've never really uh, learned about before. So, yeah, I, I that's one of the things I like about this movie because I've never seen a movie based on this really not not one that's fully based on this obviously i've seen some that have you know some some of the concepts involved in it but not one that's solely uh based around that career i guess you can call it it's more than a career to be honest it's it's pretty big um but i really enjoyed it and the time period was perfectly executed obviously the music helped that a lot but even just the clothes and all that it was just it was perfect obviously it was made in that time period too so it's not like it's going back trying to recreate an old time period it, it literally was there but it's cool to see it when you're watching it today and i'm excited to check out the sequel i definitely will i don't know if it's going to be for a video or if i'm just going to go watch it for fun i have no idea depends what i what i feel like doing i don't know so yeah hopefully you all enjoyed if you want to see the full cut reaction that'll be my patreon which is in the description down below as well as early access to these videos don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next one peace out